Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the Beer View Guy. Oh, sorry, let me get this fixed. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, how y'all doing? Um, this, I'm going to do a beer review of um, of one of the nine beers that uh, Terry at Spec Ops 56 sent me. This is a limited edition Sierra Nevada 40th, 40th year, I guess. Hoppy Anniversary Ale. Um... It is a, a 6% ABV. Um, I'm, I don't know, I don't know how this one's gonna go because um, it's two years old. It's a, it's a 12, 16 of 19. Um, at 6%, I don't know how well that's, how well that does on aging wise. Um, but we're gonna find out. Um, it says, uh, hop forward beers weren't popular when we started brewing in 1980. But we loved them and we knew that if we were going to open a brewery, we'd better make something distinctive. It's been 40 years since then and we're still brewing what we love. This beer showcases the bold flavors and aromas of a classic West Coast IPA. Intense pine and citrus with a deep gold color and slight caramel sweetness. Here's to following your passion and to the next 40 years. All right. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Okay. Let's check it out. It looks, it looks okay so far. Got about a little over a finger, finger of head. Got a cloudy um, amber appearance. Um, the head is an off-white. Looks frothy on the outside. Some larger bubbles on the ends on the middle there. It smells good, it's aromatic. I can smell it from, from over there. It smells good, it smells juicy, it smells uh, citrusy. It's a nice, yeah, nice hops coming up out of there. A light citrus, you know, sweet citrusness. <sighs> smells really good. Okay, well, let's see if at 6% for a couple of years it held its own. Yeah, I mean, I, it smells really good. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, wow. That's still good. That is still good. Wow. A nice, sweet, I mean, not real sweet, not syrupy sweet, but it's got a nice, sweet, um, juicy flavors up front. It subsides off into a light citrus bitterness that's not even huge in the bitterness. That's good. What did it say? Hop forward. Okay, I'm before you showcases the bold flavors and aromas of a classic West Coast IPA. Intense pine. Um, I'm finding it light on the pine, not really intense. When I see intense, I think it's going to be I mean strong. But uh, I think uh, I think it's light on the pine. It's I mean it's 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 perfect for me. 
um, let's see, intense pine and citrus. The citrusness is not huge either. It's a it's a nice balanced uh, flavor. Of a, let's see, deep gold color. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. And a slight caramel sweetness. Yes. Yeah, sometimes I don't think about caramel when it comes to IPAs. Caramel, I kind of more think about it in like um, darker beers, you know, ambers, box, um, um, and maybe, you know, porter, stouts. But when I when I think about it in IPA, it just doesn't sound right to me. But I, I'm kind of getting that, you know. <clears throat> Very flavorsome. Okay. Wow. Well, that's good to know. 65 IBUs. Um, that's pretty high. I mean, that's a, it's not low and it's not extremely high on the ABUs, IBUs, sorry. Um, but I don't know. That still seems like it'd be bitter, than, more bitter than what I'm getting here. This is a really nice, to me, this is a sessionable IPA. Um, I could drink another one of these. Uh, right after this one. Um, I've had some really strong IPAs in my past, and this here is real pretty mellow. It's a nice, smooth, it's a it's a nice IPA. This would be good for, for somebody that's starting off with, you know, getting into IPAs. Yeah, this is great. I mean, this is all just my opinion. Everybody, Everybody's going to have their own opinion about it. It's a very enjoyable um, IPA. So there you go. <clears throat> well, thank you, Terry. I appreciate you sending me this. This is a nice IPA. I haven't had an IPA in a, in a while. Um, so this was a really nice one to experience. Um, nice quality. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Excuse me. A couple other things. See, light carbonation's got a medium body on it. Um, I want to make sure I had a full review. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and I forget some of the things to, to say. I don't know what to do with my hands a lot of times, so I'm just kind of, you know, flittering about and just... <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. And Terry, I know I already thanked you, but <clears throat> I really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you all on the next one.